What's up guys, welcome back to season 7 of Alone Pizza. Today we're going to be watching episode 13, The Perfect Pair. And uh, I guess we're going to see some pairs. <laughs> uh, haven't really touched upon pairs, I guess. I guess uh, something maybe with the apples. Because pears are a fruit, and maybe... Maybe Flim Flam, actually, that's kind of something I just thought upon. Okay, uh, I don't have time, I only have 33 minutes left on my recording software, so... Bam! That is loud. Why was she walking fast? Alright. I guess I was right, it was an apple-ish thing. Grand pair. <laughs> you mean welcome back to Ponyville. Grand pair was originally from here before he opened his famous pear jam store in Van Hoover. Okay. Really? Why'd you move back? I, uh, well, I needed a change of pace. Huh. Right. I like his voice. <laughs> I like pears. Pears are good. They're, they're juicy. Glad you like it. Mm. How much? No. Nah. Dude, you bring that home is blasphemy to your family. <laughs> it was real nice meeting you. Yep, see you later, man. That, that's the voice I've never heard before, though. So probably a new voice actor. Glad you're back, Sugar Cube. Just in time for breakfast for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I got the for flapjacks oh, today. Beautiful. <gasps> yep, I <laughs> thought so. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. She fucking hates bears. Huh? Alright. <laughs> My little audio needs to be synced up. Ba 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 ba. Right, pears. So, actually, like, maybe he's that guy. Maybe he knows Granny somehow. And maybe. They're not friends. <laughs> but, uh, like. It could also just be that fact that they don't. Fucking hate other fruits than apples, and they're narcissistic, and they don't like other shit, like Applejack being like, "I hate fashion. It sucks balls." <sighs> All right, let's go. God, you guys are digging far. Okay, well that's yep. something else. Actually, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Do you have any idea? <laughs> okay. Uh, nope. Pretty much anything else that includes fighting. <laughs> what goes better with apple flavor flapjacks? Caramel syrup or praline? Praline! <laughs> right. Oh, it smells great, Applejack. I'm gonna go wash up for supper. Oh, I thought you were talking about the pear jam. <laughs> Sugar Knowing her, she would probably smell it. Also, she walked up on the wooden block. Okay. Damn. She really doesn't like that. Ask the guy. Or that. I haven't seen her since season four. Yeah, sure, I'm in. Another song, maybe? <laughs> oh, hello, Goldie. Been a long time. Been a damn long time. <laughs> that's one hell of an entrance. <laughs> now, that's how you make an entrance. Oh, that is how you make an entrance. <laughs> well, anyway, it's so wonderful to see you three. To what do I owe the pleasure? <laughs> we were hoping you could tell us about the, uh, Feud with the apples and the pears. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> well, does Granny Smith know you're here? She well, better not. But I ran into Grand Pear yesterday and he was real nice. Maybe the feud was a misunderstanding or something and we can fix it? Uh, well, yeah, fix the whole thing going on for histories. One, but if it's a story you're after, I suppose you have a right to know. All right. Maybe, uh, story time. Family History Volume 137. That is a lot of volumes. The bears. There's a bunny playing a guitar in the back. A long time ago, sweet apple 
this wasn't the only farm in Ponyville. Another flashback to like the past. That's cool for actually. Damn, really? Granny. Ah, uh, there's the guy. Please. Yeah, juicy pears. They're juicy. No good at farming apples. If I was gonna choose apples are apples. Like the expression on your face right now. Yeah, that's not good for business, guys. Just yelling at each other while customers are waiting. Oh, Nightmare Moon is in the moon. Nice. Reminds me of uh, Applejack reading to that tree in the season one. I like how they're shaped like pears too. That's weird. In fact, all the apples in the pears were rivals to the core. Were rivals to the. Okay. God, they look young as hell. I'm not supposed to talk to you. You're not supposed to have that voice. Talk to you either. My mom says if you hold a buttercup under your chin, it'll make your chin glow, but it doesn't work on me. See? Oh, because you're yellow. Oh, I remember that shit as a kid. It sure does, buttercup. <laughs> buttercup. I like that name. Wait an apple picking minute. Bright Mac and Buttercup, those are our parents' names. Of course, Buttercup was just a nickname your father gave your mother. Pear what the fuck? Father. Well, that was her given name. Are you saying our mother was a pear? <laughs> what the fuck? So we are half pear? Excuse me, what the hell? Do we not know? Well, no pony called your mother pear, butter. My heart is being so fucking fast right now. What the fuck? Is there anything else you can tell us about them? I know they loved each other very much. They had that magical star-kissed other side. Is this real? Rainbow kind of. Corey. You couldn't be around them too long and not feel a little bit better than air yourself. Anything else? Oh my god. I'd need volume 138 for that. They're speaking as if they're dead. I'm sure I could wrangle it in a, in a couple of days. Oh my god, guys. That's all right, Golden. Oh. It was nice just to hear it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they you. are. Your dad and his buddy Burnt Oak would get in all kinds of trouble together as colds. <laughs> Burnt Oak? The firewood sound pony? I haven't seen him in ages. Oh my god. He and your dad were thick as thieves back in the day. This is I'll just... To him. What? Dude! What is this? Well, Their parents! Well, in the apples. What can I do for you? I know you're not here for <sighs> firewood. You got more trees than any pony in Ponyville. Oh my god. Right. We're not here for that. Okay, get over the initial you shock right now. Your dad? Uh, yup. Dude, they are totally dead. They they don't know about them. Nice to talk about. Oh. <laughs> we had a lot of laughs. In fact, this oh, one this is, time, this turned the episode totally around for me. Kill the fastest, and Bright Mac was leaving me in the dust. He would have won. That's their dad. So distracted. Oh, my heart is beating so fast right now, guys. You don't even know. Oh, fuck. Pear of butter, what did you do? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> you didn't do it, sir. Good boy, right there. Excuse me? The water silo. That is a true heart, Papa. right there. <laughs> well, you owe me a new silo, boy. And you come with me. No daughter of mine is gonna make goo goo eyes at an apple. Okay, just telling you right now, this whole episode is gonna be like a fucking mindfuck for me because I. I have to come to terms with the fact that we're actually knowing about their parents. 
But there was no way he'd let your mother take the blame for something he did. Yeah. So Dad was super honest. Like Applejack. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, huh, Applejack? Your dad worked the apple farm all day and then headed over to the pears on his brakes to fix the water silo. I didn't see him for weeks. Not that he minded. Gave him a chance to get to know your mom. Did you know our mom too? Buttercup was a real peach. Oh, this is pear. so sweet. But if you want to know more about her, you should ask Mrs. Cake. Mrs. Cake? Mrs. Cake? She and your mom were inseparable when they were fillies. Huh. Hey, let's go. Thanks, Burnt Oak. That's nice. Oh my god. Would it be okay if we stop by again sometime to hear more stories? I like Aww. that very much. Oh, they're crying. <laughs> Well, cinnamon sugar oh, on toast. This is so lovely. Apple siblings. Hi, Mrs. Cake. We heard you and our ma used to be real good friends, and we were hoping you could tell us a bit about her. Oh, I would love to. I never knew the right time to bring it up, but I'm so glad you came. <laughs> oh, for starters, did you all know that it was your mom who convinced me to pursue baking? Really? What isn't your name, Mrs. Cake? Not always. Back when I was huh. chiffon swirl, <laughs> I wow. had no idea what I was so supposed to do. So they can give themselves but names. Day, your mom brought me some like that. Pears, that is interesting. Flour, sugar, and vanilla, and told me to just be creative. Next thing <laughs> I knew, I was whipping up pear upside down cake, and I got my cutie mark. It was like she knew what I was supposed to like do. Like apple bloom. Before I did. Just like you, sugar. Yeah. Cake. Or rather. <laughs> oh, like seeing her. the traits That's of the first of many oh. cakes for me. And Buttercup was with me through it all. This is why I love this show so much. It can just make the goofiest episode and the funniest and the weirdest and then it on a go, it can just turn around so emotional. And prep new ingredients. <sighs> Over the years, I perfected my recipes. I'm Your I don't know what to so say, man. One day, I wanted to surprise her with a cake. <laughs> Can't believe that's their parents. Oh, <laughs> that was adorable. Oh boy, you better not look at that. Ah, oh, it's just her. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. I just brought you a little something to say thank you. He looks a lot like Big Mac, or rather, the other way around. <laughs> Promise he won't say anything. But what happened to them? I mean, they're obviously not there anymore. You can tell by the fact that they don't know about them and they want to know stories about them. We do not fraternize with pears. That's the granny we know. <laughs> Right, Mac? Oh, I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Your families hate each other. I can't help it. We just sort of... Her face looks kind of off. Aww. Your butter <laughs> told me the sweetest love story I have ever heard. Oh, their, their chemistry is so lovely. This makes me start. so happy and sad at the same what? time. <laughs> That's way longer than we've been together. I know because if this goes where I think it's going the first time I called you buttercup It's okay if you didn't get me anything Actually I did a guitar for me, but I Don't know how to play quiet you <laughs> Oh Yes oh. Oh I never thought I'd cry of this show again, but uh, here it is, proving me wrong. And sure as I breathe the air, I know we are the perfect pair on a Hey, there it is. Oh, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. <laughs> Wow, it's just wow. Do you like it? Be honest now. 
It's the best gift you could have given. Seasons change and leaves may fall, but I'll be with you through them all. And rain or shine, you'll always be mine. On a prickly path that goes on for miles. I'm speechless, guys. gonna tell you the same thing you're just mad I beat you to it I'm telling you I was gonna pull you up cover your eyes oh this is so sweet here, and say surprise oh oh it's like the most say, loveliest oh, story love love story and then I'd say I love you <sighs> too Aww. bad it didn't work out though yep too bad Wow, <laughs> she's setting up. Are moving. <gasps> that's why Big Mac says yup. Oh, I that's. Mean, I figured the pairs move, but I didn't know all that stuff happened before with Granny and Grandpa. It must have been really hard on our parents. Oh, it was. We're moving to Van Hoover. Damn. But that's so far. It's what's best. There's acres of untouched land and a warehouse to make our jams. We get to expand our business and get away from those gosh darn apples. Yeah. Bear butter was devastated. Uh, seeing no way out of it. I uh, hate with the families hating the so crush of your life. It? What do you want me to do, Brat Mac? We're moving. I love you, but I have to stay with my family. Then Bright Mac did the most romantic thing I've ever seen any homie oh. do. Bullets! 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 We're gonna need one more pony to tell that story. We're finding Mayor out about Mayor, them just as they are. Parents? Not as well as Mrs. Mayor, Mayor? King, but I did play a part in their love story. I love how we're going from pony to pony to find out about him. It's so Bright lovely. Mac asked me to meet him at the edge of Sweet Apple Acres. Okay. I don't want to be apart from you, ever. I'm not sure what we'll do, but I'm sure of us. So sure that I'd marry you today. I would too. I think that's Oh, she much. has pink hair back then. I had the honor of oh, I can't even talk your probably. parents' secret wedding. And it was perfect. Bright Mac knew Buttercup wouldn't want a big <sighs> splash. Reminds me of some pony else I know. <laughs> yep. So they had a special way to seal their vows. Plant the seeds of love. I now pronounce you. What is going on? What with all these hair candles? <laughs> hair butter. Where are you? You're supposed to be packing. God, what's going to what happen here? To doing? Ma, grandpa, Buttercup and I are in love. What? <laughs> and we'll be married as <laughs> soon as Mayor right. says. Oh, I now pronounce you husband and wife. There we go. <laughs> Seal the deal. Feel nice. Aww. What are you talking Didn't think they were going to show Mary. that. You two can't be married. Finally, they are, officially. Pear butter, enough of this nonsense. We're moving. You got to stick with your family. But the apples are my family now, too. Yes, they are. You can't be serious. Are you... Choosing to be an apple over being a pear? Are you making me choose? Yes, I am. Wow. Then yeah, I guess I am. Oh my god. The power behind that is just astounding. Wow. Oh my god. This is some real shit right here. Grandpa just up and left Ma like that. No wonder Granny never told us about any of this. No, I These understand. Are never easy, and it's hard to know when it is a good time. It seems to me that now's as good a time as any to talk to both our grandparents. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, he probably feels so bad Excuse because me? if. Grandpa, I'm Applejack, 
And this year's Big Macintosh. But you already know who we are, don't you? Sure do. Did you really move to Ponyville just for a change of pace? No. Oh, he feels you, bad. You came here because you're sorry you want to get to know us too? I'm... No, oh, so they're all crying. I, I, I was just so angry and... But I, I never... It's in the past, Grandpa. Imagine how long he's lived oh, with himself if grandpa what happened happened. <laughs> sure can. You have no idea what's going on, Granny. We've been all over learning about our parents. you have, and our grandfather. Yeah, he's their granddad, man. So you're back, hmm? Sure am. Never should have left. Finding you and learning all about mom and dad. But what happened to him? Piece of me, I didn't even know what's missing. Hearing their story makes me feel close They are to gone. Side. I mean, what they're I'm saying. Sorry. I should have told you all about her sooner. And I should have been oh, here. They're all crying. Uh, I can't believe I let a silly fool keep me from my family. Nothing's keeping you from us now. Let's not miss anything else. <sighs> He's going to stay, That's isn't he? Right. Welcome back, prickly old pear. I'm so <laughs> glad they did this. <laughs> Thanks, you old crab apple. Now that we're all together, there's something we want to show you. Mom and Dad left us something to remember them by. Come on. They're definitely gone. I mean, even if we don't know what happened, they... it's a very clear message right here. Oh my God! It's beautiful. It's impossible. If anything's gonna make it through, it's apples and pears. <laughs> Wow. That really changed the tone of the entire reaction. I'm sorry if I was just out of space for most of that, but I gotta end it now so I can go and cry a little bit. See you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>